obviously you and the rest of the defense have watched the tape of last week's game between A&M and Alabama. Mm -hmm. um, they put up, A&M put up almost 600 yards on Alabama, which is widely regarded as either the best or one of the best defenses in the country. Right. Everybody knows about Johnny Manziel, but when you're studying the film, what impressed you the most about A&M's uh, offense? Um, big plays. They uh, made a bunch of big plays down the field. A lot of 15 plus plus yardage plays, and uh, and that's how you win ball games. So just gotta stop the big play. Was that big play element not there last year? Sorry. Was that big play element not there in their offense last year? Uh, it was, it was definitely there. Um, uh, they uh they uh, made made a lot of big plays last year. So I mean, yeah. are, are there significant defense differences? in the offense that you've been studying this week and the one that you faced last year at Ford Stadium? Um, there's not not really a, a big difference. We just got to come out and, and uh, just execute our technique and just be sound on defense for four quarters. When you saw them last year, you knew Johnny Manziel was a mobile quarterback who could run around a little bit, but he didn't have the whole Johnny Manziel personality and mystique yet. Right. He wasn't as well known. What differences, I mean, obviously everybody knows about the off the field headlines, but how is he different as you study him this year compared to what you saw going into last year's game? Uh, I think uh, he's a lot better passer this year. And um, and uh, he, he makes uh, great decisions as a quarterback. So, I mean, I think he's a lot smarter player than, than this year. What's the hardest part about preparing for him? Uh, just, just stopping him from uh, running around all over the place. So. Somebody was talking, uh, one of the announcers was talking during the A&M Alabama game about everybody knows he can throw a little bit, everybody knows obviously he can run, but they described him as being very athletic within the pocket. Right. Yeah. For uh, the people who, who watch this who have never done it, what does that mean? How do you? How can someone be really athletic within a confined space like that? Well, uh, from uh, watching film, uh, he's really good at uh, sidestepping defenders. He got a really quick lateral movement. So uh, he's real agile inside the pocket, so uh, it's hard to get a hands on him and uh, keep him wrapped up. So Their big running back from last year has gone to the NFL. Now they've got Ben Molina, number one. Right. Is he significantly different than what you prepared for last year, or do they use him differently? Um, no, I mean, it's, it's basically the same thing. I mean, I mean, uh, we, seen, we seen Molina last, last year here at a Forest Stadium, so, uh, I mean, it's, it's really not much different. When you got a guy like Manziel who's that elusive, can a spy kind of uh, scheme work on a guy that quick? Uh, well, uh, we just got to have uh, 11 people doing their, their job on, on a team and, and uh, we just keep them con contained and, and somebody will make a play. They lost two offensive linemen from last year's team to the NFL. How does their line look to you when you get prepared for this game? Uh, looks pretty pretty good. I mean, they're a, they're a real, real big physical and uh, and uh, they can move too. So, I mean, it's it's going to be a be a tough task, but but we're ready for it. When you see a group like that that put up so many yards and points on Alabama, and then you consider the environment, that big loud crowd and all that, what's the confidence level like? What's the mindset like as you guys get ready to go down to College Station? Well, uh, we don't really really look we don't really look at how much yards yards they um that they put up on uh, Alabama. We just got to come out, do do what we got to do. You know, as a team, we feel very, very, very confident. And uh, we're looking to have an upset. Coach Jones was just talking about how your defense has done some things well this year, but you have yet to generate any takeaways. Right. What do you have to do to get that, maybe that first one to come out and then maybe they start coming in bunches? How do you get that, uh, break through that well. little drought? The way I see it is, we just gotta have one turnover, and, and uh, it's just gonna start. It's, it's gonna be like a chain chain reaction. I mean, against Tech and uh, Montana State, we we had opportunities. We just didn't have the ball bounce our, our way sometimes. But but uh, hopefully we'll uh, come out with a couple against A and M.